In section 9.6, we'll be focusing on families of right triangles. After watching this video, you'll be able to recognize groups of whole numbers known as Pythagorean triples. Knowing these can save you appreciable time and effort, and you will also be quizzed on this without a calculator, and it will be a timed quiz. So you want to make sure you have these Pythagorean triples memorized. Three whole numbers that satisfy the Pythagorean theorem, which we know as a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or you can think of it as leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared, are called Pythagorean triples, which means that eventually they'll create some families. Let's talk about that below. The following table here shows how often you've used certain triples throughout the sections 9.4 and 9.5. Now, you probably did those calculations over and over and over again, but if you just have these memorized, you wouldn't have to. So the first question says, what do you notice about some of these triples? Let's start with 3, 4, 5 and work down the list. Well, 6, 8, and 10, well, we just took that 3, 4, 5 family and multiplied it by 2. And then 9, 12, and 15, we took that 3, 4, 5 family and multiplied it by 3. So those are all part of the same Pythagorean triple family. Now let's look at 5, 12, 13. Let's work down the list. Down here, we have 15, 36, and 39, which means we took our 5, 12, 13 family and multiplied it by 3. And right here, we have 25, 60, and 65, which means we multiplied it by 5. And then for the 50, 120, and 130, we multiplied that family by 10. So that list there does not contain all of the triples that you have to know, but it does contain the essential ones. And we noticed that some triples are multiples of others. So let's go ahead and fill in the diagram below. If we have Pythagorean triples, let's start from the top of our chart. 3, 4, 5 is a triple. Moving down, 5, 12, 13 is another one. 6, 8, 10 is just part of the 3, 4, 5 family. So we don't even have to memorize that. If we have 3, 4, 5 memorized, we're in good shape there. 7, 24, 25 is another triple. 8, 15, 17, that is another triple because we can't reduce that any further. It's not part of any of the other ones we've looked at so far. 9, 12, 15, well, that's just part of the 3, 4, 5 family, so we don't have to memorize that. 9, 40, 41 is another one. And then the ones listed below here, I think the only one we didn't talk about yet was the 14, 48, and 50, which is part of the 7, 24, 25 triple family if you multiply it by 2. So the ones in the circles are the ones you have to know, those five triples there. And then I'm going to list three more here in the box. So essentially, you have to have eight triples memorized moving forward. So the other triples to know are 11, 60, 61, 20, 21, 29, and 12, 35, 37. We'll pick back up with the second part of the notes in just a moment to review more example problems. 